with your pistol in your hand, you sneak down the corridor. You make it to the great sliding double doors and adjust your bow tie. Bursting inside, ahead of you, the bald-headed figure of Dr. Monstro. You're here to stop him and his evil plans. Suddenly, he presses a button. An alarm sounds and his goons burst in. With a few precise shots, you manage to dispatch them. But oh no. In the firefight, Dr. Monstro has managed to escape and board his moon rocket. A countdown has begun. You fire your grappling hook watch and try and make it towards the door before it closes. Will you be able to stop Dr. Monstro before he escapes to the moon? Or are you on a mystery quest? Welcome everybody. Today we're playing something a little bit different. It is a solo tabletop RPG by Tim Hutchings called A Thousand Year Old Vampire. Uh, I'm going to be running through this with a special guest. I hope you enjoy. And welcome everybody to Mystery Quest. Uh, today we are playing a solo role-playing game called A Thousand Year Old Vampire by Tim Hutchings. But I'm not going to be playing this alone. I brought someone along for the journey. Uh, the longtime suffering editor of Mystery Quest and creator of amazing animation, Nigel and Marmalade. Uh, it is my dear friend, Sweet Tom Bates. Hello, dear friend, Sweet Tom Clark. That's me. How how are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you for inviting me. I'm ready to, uh, to see. I've never played this game before, so I'm excited to see see what's in store. Absolutely fine. So the way this game works is you're going to be creating a vampire and we are going to be traveling through the passages of time. Uh, you'll be given story prompts and you're going to have to answer uh, sort of what happens to this vampire. And as more and more time goes by, what will have started out as an innocent, sweet character is going to become a horrific degenerate. And uh, we're just going to see see how that goes. Um, I'll loosely explain the rules kind of as we are playing. But first, we need to create your character. Okay, I'm um, ready. I'll be keeping the notes for this, so all you need to worry about is sometimes you're going to have to roll some dice for me. Okay. But otherwise, uh, you're just going to be following along. So, I want you to start by imagining a person. Uh, so, uh, a person from the distant past. Yes, yes. And so, uh, this could be from, you could be a... Uh, Egyptian washerwoman uh, living by the pyramids okay. or a, a Mesopotamian emperor, if they had emperors. Sure. Uh, absolutely any layer. Um, but seeing as a lot of time could pass, I'd recommend going back at least a couple of hundred years. So. Okay. Uh, so the entirety of, of history is, is up for grabs. Okay. Um, absolutely any bit of history. I'm always drawn to, you know, medieval, dark ages... Love that. Filthy, peasanty sort of vibes. Okay. Um, so I think somewhere somewhere in there, maybe? Yeah, that sounds absolutely... What is the Dark Ages? What's the Dark Ages? Is that like 1200? Dark Ages, I feel like it's sort of... Is it like the... I feel like it's like the 800s to the 1400s-ish. Like, like post-Roman Empire, right? Yeah. And then up until Judas? Did the Romans Rome? fall, like six 600 that's when they stopped yeah, being in like Brit Britain. They, I don't, I who don't knows? really know. My... Somewhere in the, in the mist of the dark ages of time. Okay, we'll have like an, a very ambiguous about a thousand AD. Sure, Something, sure, a thousand sounds good. Uh, but we'll just say that your character doesn't know what the date is. No, and so why then, would I? Yes. So then we don't need to know. Yes, of course. Um, and I'm thinking, you know, um, little boy, little um, nice crisp bowl cut going on. Oh. Um, and maybe like um, a knight's squire. Okay, I absolutely love this. This is yeah. this is great. I tend tend to my my knights every every whim. Um, yes, yes, I'm, I'm I'm the little helper boy. Okay, where are you set? Because there's a whole load of countries that will have knights at the stage. True. Uh, English. Do you want to be a French? I am a peasant boy, and uh, I am going to attend to my knights. Uh, Cleaning duties. Okay, I am so sorry, France. I, I'm uh, really sorry, French. 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 Um, wait, are we really doing? <laughs> uh, no, uh, no, no. You you do not have to do accents. I, I was think I was thinking it was just English peasant squire boy. He'd been pulled from the peasants. He's like loves the opportunity that he's like. I, I guess does a squire live in the court? 
sort of in the castle with the knight. Like, yeah, I imagine you might like sleep in the stables or you'll hang out with this knight, but yeah. someone's raised you up and hanging out with you. I think like as far maybe it's somehow he got plucked out of his like um farm or whatever, and you know, he's actually like his family's quite proud of him because, you know, he's actually gone and he's serving someone who's you know, a, a knight, a, a, like a superhero of their time, you know, that kind of thing. Okay, this is perfect. Uh, so we need to start out with uh, a, a memory of yours, which okay. kind of just encapsulates all of your history. Yeah. Um, and so this could be uh, just um, give yourself a name. A name. Are we doing realistic names of, of young peasant boys? I know you have your own <laughs> naming scheme. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Let's do Will. Will is like a good, like young young Will. Okay, and so I just need like a a single line. So, for example, uh, the one they give here is, "I am Henry, son of John, uh, born near the Law Valley in the thirteenth century of our Lord. I am a poor knight, swindled out of my inheritance. Ah, I am Will, son of Bernard, and I come from the um." From the, the farming fields of Warwickshire. From Warwickshire. Do you not want to be... You're from the black country, right? Do I'm not, not from... Wanna... I'm from Birmingham, but Warwickshire's nearby. I could... Okay. All right. From the valley, from the flat lands of Birmingham. From the... Yeah, back in those days, I guess it would be... I mean, Warwick, Warwickshire was sort of where Birmingham is, so we'll say the Birmingham side of, of uh, Warwickshire. Yeah. And um, I uh, was found and discovered by, by a great knight... Um, who, um, I don't know, I helped out and became his squire. And, and I think, do, do they live in castles, knights? Yeah, they'll have like a, like a, sort of uh, like a, like a tower or a, a, yeah. a, a castle or something that they will live in, uh, kind of like looking over the local areas. A Warwick Castle. Warwick Castle. We could go, yeah, Warwick Castle. I've been to many times to Warwick Castle, Tom. Uh, it's a bit perfect. of an attraction now, but I know my way around Warwick Castle. Okay, been well, there about perfect. 15 well, times. Wow. Uh, well, we can definitely uh, have that. Already feels like home. So, right, next up. Uh, we need you to create three mortal characters that you know. Uh, so these are people that, um, they could be uh, family members. Uh, this knight, for example, mm. could be one. Yeah. Uh, and these are people that will turn up throughout the game. They could die, though. Okay. Don't worry about that. All right. So I guess, yeah, I guess we start with my knight, um, Sir, Sir Bernard. Uh, no, my dad's called Bernard. <laughs> Everyone's <Wow>. Bernard. <laughs> Everyone um, is Bernard. Well, it is up north a bit, so it, is. it could be. Very true. Sir Richard, uh, why do I want to say Longshanks? It's not R like Richard Longshanks. Longshanks. I love it. Um, he's my knight. Okay. Um, uh, and I love him. Knight. Platonically. Who is loved. Perfect. And... Uh, another character. Do you want your father? Yeah, I, had, I said Bernard. Yeah, yeah. Bernard of Birmingham. Um. Bernard of Birmingham. <laughs> <laughs> he likes to be a bit grand, even though he's just a farmer uh, toiling in the fields. Father Dad is what I will type, yeah. take notes of father. him as. Well, I should probably have my last name, shouldn't I? Like, his name is my last name. Uh, you might not even have a surname at this stage. No? If this Does is... Uh, so, if you're just um, a pleb... The, the, I don't think they had surnames until until the uh, the Black Death. Ah, oh, the Doomsday Book. Uh, the Doomsday Book, yes. and then when people started moving around, they yeah. had to like start taking names because otherwise you just lived right by. So it was just Will and Bernard. Just Will and Bernard. Yeah. Maybe. Um, uh, already, there's some historian there who's just like, <laughs> like well, that this is a right. I know, I'm I know. turning this off because I'm furious <laughs> with these idiots. Uh, your comments are full of furious historians. Oh my God, the yeah. the amount of history that we get wrong. Yeah. This is a fantasy world. It's not really. It's it, alternate well, history. Yeah, it's Warwick Castle, which is definitely a real place, mm -hmm. but it's alternate history, Warwick Castle. Uh, right, we need one more character that you know. We have. My baby sister. Oh, baby sister. What's your baby sister called? Um, Daisy. Daisy. Oh, lovely. Daisy. The baby. Baby Daisy. Sister. She's like five, six. Okay. Uh, so now you need to create three skills that your mm. character has. Um, these can be absolutely. Anything you like. It could be you're real good at running. Okay. Great at the long jump. Yeah. Uh, g good in, in a fight. Um, knows how to do thatching. I don't know. Like Ooh. anything. Okay. 
Well, um, um, they can be absolutely anything that you just think would be appropriate for your character. I think expert cleaner. Uh, great like at cleaning. I, yes, just any anything I can clean. Um, I, I want something that's to do with the land because I come from the land. Like you know, like um, um, farming. Farming. Perfect. Exactly. Farming. Uh, okay. Cleaning. Farming. Um, and maybe like um, archery. Archery. Okay, I love this. Uh, yeah. That makes long sense. Long bow. Uh, long bow. Well, yeah, I guess about this time, you know, they made the peasants uh, practice using bows, so 100%. you're good with a bow. Maybe that's how you kind of got Ooh, promoted. Ooh, yeah, I won a competition. Yeah, the Little Robin's <laughs> Archery Contest for Marksmen, and you came first. Yes. And so Richard Longshanks was like, that guy's a pretty good shot. Mm. He can be my squire. Yes, perfect. Absolutely amazing. Uh, now... I need you to create three resources that you have obtained in your life. So this can be as simple as uh, a, like a bow and arrow, for example, or could be more complicated to you own, have a fleet of ships. Oh my God. Um, um, but kind of think of what's more appropriate. I don't mm, know if mm. uh, your character is necessarily going to have a fleet of ships. <laughs> Um, I think I think bow and arrow just automatically makes sense. It's my Absolutely. sort of hobby and my skill, and I love it. And it's like, yeah, I'm I'm very good at it. Do you want it to be like your father's bow and arrow? Oh yes, grandfather's passed down. Grandfather's bow and yes. arrows. I guess like maybe just his it's his bow, uh, not the arrows. As I well. don't have any arrows on me. Well, you can still have uh, arrows. Uh, arrows but... are more easier to come by. Sure. Uh, but his uh, special. What do they make bows out of? Like, bow, like, was it you or Ash? Whatever the best wood for the bow is, that's what this is. Yeah, it's of. really good. From it's a really forest. good. Enchanted. The Enchanted Forest. Okay, I love that. Yeah. Uh, um, so another resource. Would a donkey count? You can 100% have a donkey. I just like the idea of having a really old donkey that I've had my whole life. And when does, I left, he, I brought him with me. Can you he, ride a donkey? You yeah, ride. 100%. Yeah, so I ride a donkey and he's my donkey. What is the name of your donkey? I feel like he needs a really fancy name. Like, mm, mm. like a Like a philosopher's name or something. <laughs> you know, like Archimedes the donkey. Like that. That level yes, of... Yes, yes. I want to say Hippocrates, but that's... No, that, no, I love that. that. Hippocrates the donkey. Um, and one more thing. Mm -hmm. It can be anything. Uh, anything you like, you know. Your, your family emblem or a thing given to you by the knight or... Yeah, a, maybe a gift from the knight, because I think he would have gifted me with something for my good, good service. Um, a token, something nice, like a silk handkerchief or something, you know, like the knight's... Ooh. Is that like the knight's favour? Is that like more what I, he would give the, the ladies that he likes? I, I think it's absolutely Maybe fine. Maybe he gave you... Uh, it's like the fanciest thing I have owned and I just sometimes like to feel it because it's like I've never felt something so ooh, luxurious yeah. before. You, I'm used to rough and dirtiness and this is... I try and keep it pristine because okay. it's, like, it's like means a lot and it, it shows that he... You know, my love for him is he's like, I appreciate all the work that you do with this silk handkerchief. I, I love that energy. This yeah. is perfect. Uh, so now I need you to create three more memories. Okay. Um, but these memories, uh, each of them needs to incorporate two of the things you just came up with. So combining mm. characters, skills, and resources. So just for example, it could be you remember when your uh, dad gave you your grandfather's bow and how this was such an important mm. moment in your life. Uh, or, you know, uh, Sir Richard um, Longshanks giving you the handkerchief, like could yeah, be a core yeah, yeah. memory of yours. Uh, th these are just like examples yeah. of... Okay, yeah, no, I like. I think the bow would, would definitely... I mean, that, that would have been something that was probably up on the wall my whole life and I mm. would have marveled at and liked to look at but was never allowed to touch. And maybe Ooh. on the day that I was leaving to, to join my knight as his squire, my father gifted it to me as boy you are now a man. you're you now a man take this your grandfather's bow your grandfather from the mists of the north when he came down from a mystical tree that he carved this Whoa. bow from and when he came down to birmingham and settled at a farm in birmingham <laughs> he gave you this bow oh so i take this bow and i'm like oh the most joyous day of my life that thing that i've sort of coveted and wanted my entire life now i own okay i love love that um, I want a little memory with me and the donkey, Hippocrates. Um, okay. Because I feel like we were childhood friends, basically. You know, mm. like I just want something fun 
Um, there was that year where we, we all were dancing around the Maypole, all us children, and, and Hippocrates came in and bit a ribbon and danced with us. And oh, I was like, oh, okay. joyous day. I love this. We, uh, we laughed, me and this donkey, Hippocrates, my only friend. Do you want to have it like your, you and your sister and the donkey dancing around the Maypole yes, all together? Yes, yes, in, in a summer's day, a warm summer's, yeah. summer's day, our father Bernard laughing, ha, 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 yes, <laughs> my children, ha, ha. Uh, around the Maypole. Perfect. Okay. Dancing with Daisy and the Donkey around the Maypole. Lovely. A and, joyous day. Uh, one more memory combining. Uh, okay. So I've got, what have I got? So there is the handkerchief. There's, um... So you could do the thing of like winning the archery competition, mm. which is your archery skills and being recognized by Sir Longshanks. And that's what brought you up. I mean, that is the most important day of my life. The, the day that I won the archery competition, I um, split the arrow. <laughs> no, no, I, you know, I love like, this. Do the full yeah, Robin yeah, Hood. Yeah. So I do the Robin Hood thing. I split the arrow in the middle. And it's that moment where the arrow explodes and shatters that Sir, Sir Richard stands up. Boy! Oh. Almost like the prophecy. Maybe he was told that the boy oh. who splits the arrow will be or whatever. Wow, you know? he will and he, be the next king of England. Yes, whatever that is. Yeah, he was like, you are the one. Come. And that, that's why he was so hastily like, you must come with me. You are now my squire. And he he like um, looked after me. He sees potential in me. He, want, he wants to turn me into the, the next Sir Richard Longshanks, the, the next knight. Oh, because he doesn't have a son. Yes, exactly. And you're his son yes, now. Yes, yes, exactly. He is like a father figure to me absolutely perfect i feel like we've got we've already got like a fairly fleshed out it feels good i'm already picturing it yeah because i know uh, warwick castle i can see where it's happening <laughs> oh no i guess i wasn't at warwick castle yet i can uh, see the fields of birbingham where i was doing you're, this you're gonna, you're gonna be at warwick castle real soon yeah 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 um and so now uh we need you to create a immortal character okay, so the immortal character is going to be the character that gifted you or cursed you with your vampire with unlife. Um, so this could be anything because we've made this lovely, wholesome character who already feels like could have their own mm. adventures, but they are going to become a terrible vampire real soon. Okay. <laughs> and what has given them the, the power of unlife? So uh, before anyone gets too uh, into it, mm. it doesn't have to be, you don't have to be a Dracula. Mm. A vampire is a very loose term for an immortal character who is just going to become an absolute degenerate at some point. Okay. So what do you what do you think? What would you like to be? The first image that came to mind was like a hooded figure with almost like a plague doctor beak coming out of it. Nice. But it is, inside is this sort of rotting skeletal bird, bird man. Bird man. Okay, I love um, it. And his wings aren't on... Um, and out, but if he was to drop it, you would see these skeletal, cracking, flesh-covered wings expanding, I... and he's this mythic figure that you know maybe you've seen shadows of, or maybe maybe could get away with being kind of a plague doctor figure, but he is actually a sort of rotting bird man corpse. Okay, do you want to give this character a name, uh, or, or like, needs... or what we're going to refer to them as, because they they might come up again, or they might have just left you with this curse. He could be called. Bletch. 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 Uh, do you want anything else like Bletch? Bletch the Wanderer. Bletch the Death Screecher. Death Screecher. Oh, I love that. Okay, so to go with uh, Bletch the Death Screecher, uh, we will need a one last memory from you. Yep. Uh, which is uh, how you became an undead, an undead creature and something that marks you as something from the undead. Well, so um, with my knight, my knight was having guests and he wanted, he was putting on a grand feast and he asked me to go and find the, the finest. It's something special, some special ingredient that can be made into a dish and or, or, or something like that. And I go into the forest, look like trying to scavenge. I don't know, me and Hippocrates go out and we're mm -hmm. looking for this thing. Love it. And I see, I go deeper into the forest than I've ever been before because I really want to impress the knight and I want to find something that's, that's you know, I, I go to the place that they tell you never to go to. Basically. Right, it's dark, misty, okay. Through the tangled thorns and I'm Ooh. looking in there and oh. then I see a, a sorry, go. I was going to say like maybe you're, you need to get like, they want like a, a great stag or something to mm. be served at the meal and because you're the best archer, ah. you go out hunting and there's like a white stag and you yes. chase it deeper and deeper into yes, the woods yes. until that. 
I aim, I fight, I miss, it's gone. It's gone into the mist. But then I see the, the beak of a great bird and I think, perfect. Even better. Perfect. I, 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 it's the biggest bird I've ever seen in my life. Can you imagine? What, what could this even be? Ooh. So I take, I take aim and I, I fire at it. And um, as the, the arrow Im- embeds itself into the, into the chest of this, this creature, but it doesn't fall, it starts to stand up and expand its wings, its flesh, bony wings, and that's Ooh. when I realize this isn't this isn't this is some kind of terrible some monster. Creature. It, it approaches me, and I try to back away, but I'm tangled in the thorns. You know, I can't get in, away, and I hear the thudding of its talons as it's oh. coming towards me. And then um, it it pins me to the floor with one talon, and as it screeches, it digs it into my stomach and and right, raises its claw all the way through my torso. Oh my god! And I guess that, you know, it screeches in my face and that, I don't know, sucks my soul out or something. Like it's the, you know, it's that kind of like, I'm left with basically like a big vertical scar all the way down my torso. Okay, Um, love this. And I feel like I've had something sucked out of me. This is, this is great. Okay. And it never heals. It's like this sort of constantly festering, rotten Oh, uh, just giant gash and just I'm, from your throat it, yeah, to the navel. It might and... even be just like black and necrotic. And I'm I'm always like, I obviously don't want anyone to see it. And I'm always, it's always a problem and always causing me issues is this huge open wound. Okay, this is this is great. Does it, so does the, the creature, do you just pass out? You come to, it's gone. Do you kind of head back into town? Mm. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. knowing like you're missing something, it's eating your soul. I feel like something's gone from me. Something's missing. I feel hollow and empty, and I, any of the excitement and joy, you know, make, some, something feels wrong and removed. And obviously, I'm in great pain from this okay, wound on I my love. chest. So I stagger back into town. Um, yeah, not really knowing what happened. Was it a drink? Well, clearly it wasn't a drink because I did something. But no one's going to believe me if I tell them what happened. So I don't really tell anyone. I say I've just fallen, or you know, some stag got me and I couldn't, you know, I'll, I'll go with the story of, oh, I tried to kill the stag, but it attacked me and gave me a gash. Kind of okay, front. so they kind of like patch you up. Yeah. But the wound is never really healing. Never heals, or... no, no, no. Okay, right, this is absolutely perfect. So we've completed your character creation. So now we're going to begin the game properly, where the way this works is you're kind of going to be almost like filling in diary entries. Okay. Uh, you're going to be given prompts and you're going to have to kind of just answer these prompts and sort of help to tell the story of what's happening. Sometimes on these prompts, it will tell you that a you have to use a resource or a skill or something like that, and we'll have to cross them out. Sometimes you'll get new resources or skills, and so we'll be kind of updating what's going on, and we'll be adding memories to this list of memories that you have. As time goes by, your character will begin to forget things, and you'll lose part of what made you yourself. Okay. Uh, so we're going to jump straight into the very first entry, uh, which we always begin with. In your blood hunger, you destroy someone close to you, kill a mortal character, uh, and you get the new skill, Bloodthirsty. Oh my god. So what has happened of the three characters you know, uh, you've made it back into your castle, Uh, you've been there for an amount of time. In your Bloodthirsty rage, which character do you kill? I think it, well, I think it is. It has to be, you know, I've been patched up, but something's wrong with me. I feel this blood thirst coming over me. Maybe it's the next morning and I'm tending to Sir Richard. I'm dressing him. And as that happens, I just um, rip his throat out. You just rip out his throat? As I'm like, as I would normally be like, you know, dressing him in his linens. And oh, stuff. like you're shaving him I'm or shaving something. Him, exactly, and yeah. the pu- you can f- see his pulsing yeah, 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 throat. Yeah, see the, the blood pulsing through and it's just, it's too much. And I just like rip, rip open his veins. Wow, just instantly, poor, poor Richard. Richard's gone. Oh, uh, wow. My hero. He was like my Superman. Oh my God, just straight away. Yeah. Uh, this guy that you are a, you work for, um, you've already murdered Sir Richard. Oh my God, I can't believe just, it. Oh God, he was your dearest friend. I, I, in that moment, am I just like, what What did I do? Because I, I, I was overtaken and suddenly I snapped back into focus and I'm like, what's wrong with me? I'm covered in his blood. The room is covered in blood. Yeah. Uh, and I'm in like a tower in Warwick Castle. It's not like I can just get away. I'm just like. Well, we'll okay, kind sorry, of. Sorry, we'll, we'll get to get to that. But you have killed. No, uh, well, killed basically, like my father figure, my second father, is dead he's, by my hand. 
by your own hands. What the hell's wrong with me? Uh, so, you, me? so you've now got a new skill, which is bloodthirsty. Yeah. And we need to add this memory into one of these categories. So we'll be making them as bundles of, uh, of um, memories. And so it could go with uh, winning your archery competition and Sir Richard making you a squire. Do you want to add it into that? It's like my Richard memories. Yeah, yeah like yeah. if that makes if that makes course, sense to yeah, you. Yeah, 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 yeah. That makes sense. Uh, we'll yeah, because it's almost the beginning and the end of my career as a squire with Richard, or uh, at least potentially the end. I don't know. Well, we'll see, but we'll just have murdering Sir Richard. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so now I need you to roll a d10 and a d6. Okay. Um, you need to subtract the d6 from the d10, and this is how far we'll be moving through the entries. And so you could be rocketing through them. We'll be getting completely random. Thing. So no story is ever the same when you play through this. Um, if you get a negative, then we move backwards. Mm. If we ever end up on the same diary entry again, then things can start getting a lot more ridiculous and silly. Well, I guess if I, I would kill another person, is that how it would work? Well, we'll see what it what it okay. tells us. Okay, fine. So if you want to roll me some dice and tell me what, what you get. A, a minus one. A minus one. Okay. <laughs> Does that work for the first entry? Uh, well, here we go. So uh, we can't go any further back. Uh, so, you are overcome by panic and maul someone close to you. Accidentally turning them into a monster like yourself, <gasps> uh, convert a beloved mortal character into an enemy immortal character and take the skill ashamed. So, Does Hippocrates count? Uh, He's not a mortal. I don't. I mean, an enemy vampire donkey is pretty fucking cool. I'm happy. <laughs> Uh, because, you know what? He's there with me at the same, like he's the only other person who's with me. I will ha I will let you move Hippocrates from your resources yeah. into immortal characters. <laughs> Hippocrates, the old immortal donkey now? Yeah, so I, I stagger down from the tower. It's the private tower, so there's no one else there. I, it's just me, the squire, and I stagger down to where Hippocrates lives. Oh, to the stables, life. trying because to make your, thinking to make your escape. To make my escape, but also, like, Hippocrates is like, I see him as an old friend, like an old dog. I just want comforting. I want to know what's happening. And as I, I see him, the rage takes over again. Oh, I think as you go and, like, you want to pet, you want some comfort from it. Yeah. Hippocrates sees that you're a monster oh, and recoils. It, do, it doesn't, it knows that you're not right. Oh, my God, yeah. It knows my, something's wrong with my soul. And so and what then... What do I do? Just maul him? I don't kill him, I just attack you him. You maul... A donkey. You maul the donkey. <laughs> Maybe you do the same thing. You tear its guts Scratch out. Scratch its guts. But I don't know if you know that the donkey's going to be immortal yet. No, no, no. I think I... Oh, okay. Yeah, but I'm just reacting to his yeah. recoiling and I'm, ta I'm taken over by this sort of strange rage that I guess is flowing through me now. I'm not the same person I was, something's wrong with me. Oh my God, just covered in the blood of Sir Richard and now the donkey. Yeah. Oh, okay, perfect. Yeah. Uh, well, I feel like that makes sense to put that memory with dancing with Daisy and the donkey around the maple. Yes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, Hippocrates. You see, he'd like flop down. I think he's dead or he's I, just I like, think you'd assume he's dead. I've, got, I've, killed, I've just killed the two closest people to me. But you now have a new skill, which is... Ashamed. I'm bloodthirsty and ashamed. <laughs> uh, amazing. This is this is great. Right. Uh, roll me some dice if you're happy with that as an entry. All right. I'll roll again. Two. Uh, two. Okay, so we're moving from entry one to entry three. A loved one discovers your condition and works to help you. Uh, create a resource which represents their assistance. Can I, can I have like staggered staggered home covered in blood in the nights of oh, I love, love this yeah yeah you've... and I like collapse in the in the yard and my father finds me and my father's trying to help me Ooh. Um, a resource that would help me in this situation I'm covered in blood I'm wondering is there like um a disguise or something like um a hood or a cloak or oh, what, what about this like uh like a like a patchwork blanket that your mother had made from his bed and oh he wraps God. you in that yes. to help cover up the... Uh, oh the... my God, yeah, and the blood seeps into like the patchwork. And... Like, all these memories, family memories into this into this patchwork quilt and then my blood absorbs into it. I love that. Good idea, Tom. It's like you, you're using it a bit like a like a cloak, um, but it's just like a big and heavy... One of those things that you add to generation after generation. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, uh, uh, has been in the family for a while. Uh, great, roll me, roll me some more dice. Uh, let's keep on... Uh, six. Ooh, okay, jetting forward, so we're going to... Ooh, that's a lot. You develop a system for feeding. What is it? What happens to those who die? Create a skill that reflects this. Well, I, I think it would have to be, at night, I look for lonely wanderers, I walk around the streets, and I 
I would use my bone arrow, I think, to take them out. I think I'd shoot them. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'd have to then drag them away somewhere. I think I'd have to I'd have to remove them. So I think I think I I think I'd drag them to the family barn and um hang them up and sort of like um well, like butcher well, them. That's what I was thinking. I want to sort of hang them upside down and have them drain. Okay. Maybe I find not my family barn. I've, there's an abandoned farm that I know about from like that burnt down years ago. Right. And I sort of take over this hollow, burnt out shell of a barn. I love this. And I hang, I, I hunt human beings mm-hmm. because I was a good hunter. I hunt human beings and drag them and hang them into this, um, in this, in this barn, and I have them like drip into buckets or tr- the, the feeding troughs, the drinking troughs. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. Like the animal them. feed yeah. troughs are filling with blood and. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. great. Okay. What is a skill that you've learned from doing this? Butchery. <laughs> the butchery skill. Butchery. Yeah. Right, let's see what happens next. Roll me, a, roll me a dice. Four. Ooh. Okay, we're going to number 13. Generations of the same family serve you. Uh, this line starts from any living mortal character or from the descendants of a dead mortal character. Uh, what bizarre rituals do they tie to their servitude? Basically, what is happening now is a bunch of time is passing like a hundred years is now passed okay yeah and uh we need to choose uh either a mortal character um who is going to be serving you Mm. or like they're going to continue to serve you um or descendants of a dead mortal character um which do you think and what bizarre rituals so mortal character meaning of the list of people that i have left yeah so it could be a dead mortal character so it could be the descendants of uh, the Longshanks, and how are they? Serve me. Yeah, so they're now serving you. How is this happening? Ooh, I do like that. Well, if I, I'm just trying to think. If I killed him, would they know it? Would Would they not suspect me? Because it's such a, a horrific thing. So it could be like he is dead. Maybe now you have somehow become a knight, and you live in the the place, and now his family all serve you and they all are helping to okay so people or yeah, something so like it's, it's, so it's i guess it was like he saw me as a son and when he was found dead they didn't blame me because i'm just in an innocent will and you loved him i loved him, loved him so much it was an assassin from another castle oh, or something you know in their oh. eyes so so they um they're the sir richard's extended family embraced me as like uh, uh, to take me in and look after me i mm-hmm. guess um or at least care for me or, or or give me money or you know there's some kind of connection there to me um and maybe uh, over the years it was just like what's going to make someone like be a servant to you though maybe like, maybe like just through ooh. the inheritance just it was left to you because if he had no yeah. no children and then like the serving staff and people like that all now serve you but it's like yeah like noble knight who you know seen as chivalrous and can do no wrong and um also you know in that family strain there's some power hungry kind of okay. like power. um and so i am now this powerful undead knight figure to them okay um, and just they just they serve, serve they serve me as as the as the knights they are, now they are my squires essentially what bizarre rituals do they tie to their servitude do they help you get the bodies, get the people? I, I, th- I think the thing that I would, I think I actually probably would enjoy the hunting aspect, but I don't like, or I'm bored of the butchering, hanging, the admin of body management. Okay. So now I've, I've graduated, this is 100 years or so, right? Yeah, yeah, So yeah. I've got the money, I've got the inheritance, maybe I'm living in Warwick Castle or another castle, and in the dungeons or in, in a hidden part, there is now almost like a body factory or, or storage okay. facility. And they're managing the blood and the bodies and they help me with the, the I, production line of bodies. I absolutely love this. Uh, right, so you have the Servitors of Lineage uh, as a new resource. And this is like, yeah, like, I, I, get, I like, yeah, so I've, I've made my way back. I've become the knight that was Sir Richard in this castle. Mm-hmm. Now I have run this castle so no one would dare to go against me so now i have a castle full of people who can help me manage the bodies and 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 sort of i am this mysterious figure who maybe they think something's going on there's only a few people who know about the bodies but they're all serving me so it's all yeah okay. and hoping yeah and well they could be serving you out of fear uh out of love uh who knows but... maybe i've convinced them that i'm a god you know okay yeah i love that uh yeah and i guess like the local people they aren't super gonna notice that you are 
like undead like they don't see all the time and a knight is going to live longer than a peasant anyway yeah, and so exactly. and i guess am i am i sort of looking more drained yet like i'm i'm looking a little bit older maybe maybe a little little more aged mm. uh, like so there will be times when your appearance will get affected mm. and you will get more marks right. but it's completely up to you um, i feel like looking. i'm looking I, i've sort of looking a bit more thin and and, and haggard and pale um, okay and i i do cover myself up a bit you know, I'm still have this open wound in my in my chest that I like to cover. Maybe I'm always wrapped in the patchwork quilt. Yeah, everything's still... over the over the wound. Um, and um, yeah, I sort of wear this armor that is very weighty but covers me up, and I'm like, you know, this walking is... around the castle in my armor. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Great. If you're happy to move on, we'll go to the next uh, next yeah. entry. Zero. Okay. Uh, uh, that means right. it repeats. Your servants are numerous, enthusiastic, and sometimes useless. Create a skill based on a memory. Uh, this is a skill you use to control them. Do I reveal my death creature scar to them? Almost like intimidation of a look at this otherworldly wound that I have, and I still survive. They can maybe see my organs through it or something. Okay, yeah, I love. Intimidation, it's like, look at, you can basically look inside me and I'm still alive this you know, nothing can kill me. Yeah. You cannot kill me. Okay, and you immortal. just terrify these people yeah, with it. Yeah, just absolute terrifying. So what is the skill going to be called? Just like in, in, in something like intimidation. Yeah, like... like um, terrify? In, yeah, or, instill fear. It like, yeah, f or like... Oh, instill fear. I instill like. fear. But I think maybe it is like if you can see the organs. It's like a... Open, yeah, your you organs are kind them, of And they're all withered like withered and, and black and like... Bleh, just like... But I'm still alive. And I'm kind of picturing like your ribcage almost like as you reveal it, but it like expands. it opens oh up and God, like spreads yeah, 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 and yeah. like the, the ribs are growing yeah. more dagger like and yes. uh, you're becoming just more monstrous. But that, that sort of reinforces the idea that I'm a god, that I'm immortal, that you cannot kill me. You yeah. do not go against me. Do not try and betray me because I cannot be killed. Yeah. And you can easily kill any of these people yes, yes. Uh, in a heartbeat. Yeah. And the rumors that. I have sort of bodies or I have murders and I, uh, that, that, you know, yeah, just all of this adds to the, to the, 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 the stories and the tales and the fear Ooh. of the surrounding areas of this, you know, immortal night. Oh my God. I, I love it. Yeah. Uh, great. Roll me, roll me some dice. Oh God. Minus two, Tom. Minus two. We're going back. That's back in time. Uh, how do you find solace from your raging hunger within you? Uh, you may lose one checked or unchecked skill. I think I am. Um, I um, I command my my servants to um, to fill a vat with blood, and I lie in a stone sort of pit, and I just get them to just like release a torrent of blood all over me, and I just bathe in this blood and I drink it. Love it. Just bathe. Bathing in bloodbath, yeah. uh, absolutely perfect. In the Pink. bowels of my castle. Ooh, roll me again. That seems to work very well. Uh, three. Uh, while traveling, you come into conflict with another immortal. <gasps> you gain a mark. Who are they? What trick did you play upon them? Create a new immortal, immortal character. How about there was like um, um, a famine or something in my local area? And so, um, well, I guess we could say that the Black Death has kicked in. The Black uh, Death has kicked in, and I don't want to be drinking the blood of these poisoned people. I'm disgusted by them with their, their disease or whatever. And so, I, I start to um, maybe go further afield, looking for more victims mm -hmm. um, who are perhaps cleaner or not as um, you know, not not infected yet, um, and. Um, I, I, I find a little enclave of people, but someone else is 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 the immortal another vampire? Yeah, well, you can you tell me. Uh, the they can be good, they can be bad, they can. Ooh, okay. You just make this up, oh. but like I think you know what if it's uh, you? I really like that. You you're going further afield, mm. and like let's say the plague is in full swing, mm. and you don't want to drink plague blood yeah but you travel and you find another town yeah. and maybe there's a character there and everyone in the town is pristine and untouched because uh, there's actually like yeah. a like a, a really like a protector good like protector like a 
you know, like a priest or something who's a, like a healer of some mm. kind. And uh, you you instantly see them for what they are. Yeah. And But you know, like, oh, you can eat their people because they're all going to yes. be clean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can have this, like, you know, nice character mm. that you can start bickering with yeah. where you're clearly a bad guy in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that kind of thing. I guess if I guess I could try and convince them that I am good. Like I don't yeah. have to I can I can just start acting like I'm good and I understand who they are and Oh, yeah, I, I think that totally works. Yeah, you pretend that you want to you want to live with them or you'll mm. follow their word or something, yeah. but actually you're now killing their people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slowly they start to dwindle, yeah. Uh, what is and this? They, oh, 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 and they could turn against this protector. Oh, the so, people, like you'd yeah, start yeah, yeah. turning the people against the protectors. Like, you said so. you would protect us, and now we're dying. What is happening? We'd, okay. You know, something like that. What is this person called? Hieronymus. Hieronymus, the healer. The healer, lovely, yes. Uh, right, we need to put this as a, into a, one of these categories. So we're kind of filling up your memory banks. Mm. So either this will go with your father giving you some things. Uh, dancing. Uh, and killing the donkey, or with your Richard memories, where would you? Which category would you like to dump it in? Um, what if I sort of try and in my trickery, I'm trying to revert back to my squireness, where I'm like serving this healer. I'm like, I go okay. back to my serve. I would love to help you. I will help you. I will do this. I'll do that, and I'll care for the people. Like, I come in as a sort of servile character who. Okay, tries yeah, to help. and you're like, I can hunt. I can help. I, I basically do... go back to being a squire, but. Um, I guess I do like hunting as well, so I hunt. I, they get nice food, and I, I help them in that way. Yeah. I, I guess maybe I shed my knight's armor, and I just come in as this. Old yeah, traveling you pose. Person. Yeah, you're wearing this patchwork cloak, and yeah. you have a bow, and you just look more like a traveler, mm. uh, less like a like a knight. Should we say like my castle was just plague ridden, and I had to leave because everything was infested, and I couldn't be there anymore. Yeah, you just traveled further away, just yeah. everyone nearby, yeah. everyone healthy. You ate, yes, and yeah, everyone else yeah, yeah. has died. Now there's just this castle with like rotten bodies and corpses all in it, just left to rot. Oh God, you don't want to find that place. No. <laughs> uh, I feel like I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to kill your baby sister and your father <laughs> of old age. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like they could have lived completely happily, but yeah. um, I think enough time has passed that they're probably not alive anymore. Uh, you also have received a mark uh, upon you. This could just be getting more husky and grey and uh, dishevelled or some other interaction that you've had with this person. I was thinking that I... I turn the town against this healer. I'm like, he's the one who's making these people disappear. There's always a catch, you know, he's we shouldn't trust an immortal. And and he the healer, Hieronymus, he sort of sees sees maybe in that moment that's when he's like, Oh, this person isn't who I think they are. Mm -hmm. And he his healing hand turns flaming hot Ooh. and he slaps it onto he puts his hand onto my face pushing me back and i have this burn across my face and then the people are like no they grab him and pull him away okay and the, and they cast him out and they protect me right so i okay. now have this sort of scarred handprint across my face okay i love that uh melted have... handprint on my face but the people now yeah love they... me and hate him absolutely perfect this horrible face burn yeah uh, cool. Right. Roll me some dice. Let's see okay. how we're going. Uh, three. You were fed for too long in one place, destroying a community or social group. Who were they? Uh, how did the last community member die, uh, gain a scavenged resource, and lose a resource? Well, I think this one feels like it instantly makes sense. <laughs> yeah. uh, you've driven out this healer, yeah, and yeah, then yeah. you have slowly eaten Just all of these healthy it. people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, these Poor, <laughs> these poor these innocent folks. townsfolk have fallen for my tricks. Oh god! But they, they love me to the end. They're like they because I stood up for them or whatever. You know, in their eyes, I I, I managed to convince them that I stood up for oh, them. Oh god! Um, How and, does the last one die? Oh god! Well, I guess at this point, there's what me and one other person in the village. Um, maybe they at that moment they they realize they realize <laughs> it took that much. Oh my god! The, uh, there could have been a whole, like, the thing scenario oh in God, the town yes. where everyone's turning against each other, yeah. trying to work out who the murderer is, and finally the last he, person is he there was with the, you. What, he was my most loyal follower, and he killed 
everyone. Following your orders. Yes, to to follow my orders, to protect me, because they were all convinced that it was me. And he was like, no, it wouldn't be him. And it was in that moment, let's say there's like, I'm sitting in my, not a throne, because it's not a kingdom, but a town hall. And he's like, master, we did it, or whatever, you know, we've, we've, we've purged the town, now what? And I stand up and I just... His blood. Just disrobe your my, horrible my thing, and then yeah. you consume him with your disgusting ribcage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, I absolutely like, love. Oh, that poor person, and they no, realize, and realize in that moment. Yeah, what have I done? Uh, and then I do my signature move where he approaches, and he, you can see in his eyes, he's like, "No, why?" Like he just realized his whole life was a sham. And I reach forward and I just yank his throat out, rip his throat out. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so you will gain a resource and you will lose a resource in this process. I think it could make sense that you've lost the servitors of lineage now. 100%. Uh, that you, they're all dead from your old castle yeah. and anyone that followed you in this town, they're all gone. 100%. And so I think crossing that out probably makes sense. Oh, and I still have the handkerchief with me as well, pristine. Yeah, you're still, you still have this handkerchief, you still hunt with this bow and arrow yeah, yeah, and yeah, you're yeah. wearing this patchwork quilt yeah. uh, but you gain a new resource from this last encounter Ooh. what do you think it could be absolutely anything from the town is there like did they did they give me like a crown okay like, they they crowned me yeah. like they love me that much like so i wear this like makeshift crown and it's like my ego i think i'm this sort of kingly figure okay yeah yeah because you're not happy just being a lord yeah no no I or you miss being a lord because you were yeah. a lord for like a hundred years or something and so I'm so used to that life uh yeah you made them make you a crown yeah and they that yeah so in the end they worship me as, as their king basically so i look like this kind of like disheveled um DIY king with my patchwork robe over me and my like wonky crown made yeah. of scraps of metal and yeah that's sort of made like I'm kind of picturing do you remember when uh in the movie The Grinch yes when he makes like the <laughs> yes. jewelry out of yeah. his aunt's like all of their like things Absolutely. and like patches it together that all of like the the rings and trinkets yeah. of the townsfolk you have someone oh, like forge that- these together and it's like all the gold of the town Love that. and it looks like an absolute mess. Yeah. But to you, you're like, I'm the yeah. king. Like it's um, all like lumpy and the spikes are folding over. Yeah. And- just like mismatched jewels and yes. uh, like gold coins and things like that to make this yeah. just bonkers crown. And I just walk out of this town hall with my crown and my patchwork quilt and the, the streets are covered in bodies. Yes, yeah, everyone is dead. I <laughs> love, love that energy. Uh, cool. Well, roll me, roll me a thing and let's keep on trucking. Zero. Oh, fuck. Ooh. <gasps> a community outcast has survived oh, no. and vows revenge oh, no. <laughs> uh, to revenge themselves upon you. How did you know them? Uh, how did they know to catch you at your most vulnerable? Uh, create a mortal character bent on your destruction. Can it be like a, a newt type character from Aliens who was like hidden and like a child? Oh. But this is, does it have to be right now? Can they grow to hunt me down? Does it have to be? Well, they're immortal at the moment. So. I think it was, they managed to, they they were just, you know, in the in the chaos of all this murder, they were a young kid and they managed to hide. And they, as they saw, as they heard the screams and the blood and the death as they were hiding under like, the, I don't know, in, in like a, the foundations of a house or, or, or somewhere hidden, they, um, as, as silence descends over the, um, over the village, they, they peek out and that's when they see me walk out of the town hall and they look over all of their villagers the and their dead. family dead. And I just start laughing or something. Laughing, and, okay. And, and, that, and maybe drinking blood or, or like, you know, start feasting on these bodies. Okay. And this child just watches as I, as I feast on the, um, oh, nice. on the remaining, yeah, people. What is, what is this little girl called? Um, not Ripley. <laughs> I, I love it. Or just one like Ellen. It's Ellen Ripley. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm so into that. Uh, Ellen. Yeah, maybe like they see you like, you know, like laughing, yeah. but also they know about like your open, My wound. like Yeah, because I'm not wound. hiding. I think I'm the only person there, so I don't hide it anymore. I just walk out with this like quilt dangling, my crown on top of my head. <laughs> and then just and, start drinking the blood. Oh my God, I'm absolutely into that.
So she now knows I'm a vampire, I'm immortal. Like she also knows that I killed all, all the townspeople. You killed all everyone there and that she has vowed to get revenge on you. Makes sense. Uh, absolutely love that character. Mm. Uh, great, cool. Give me Morgan. another give me another roll. Three. Three. So we're up to twenty-one. Uh, you are trapped outside when the sun rises and takes shelter someplace you're not supposed to. A child discovers and befriends you. <laughs> Create a mortal child character and record a humanizing experience. Oh, okay. So I guess I've drank this town dry. I don't know that Ellen Ripley is there. Yeah. Um, so once the town's drunk dry, I'm like, I'm, I'm drenched in human blood, like all down my face down here. I've just feasted. I'm full and I'm staggering through, let's say like um, the woods and um, uh, yeah, so and the sun is rising and I don't know where to go because I, I needed to get out of that town before someone came and mm -hmm. I didn't know there was a witness there so I didn't want to, didn't want to be caught. So let's say I, um, I find like a little, I don't know, like um, either a cave or I'm thinking like a little stick house. Okay, yeah. Um, and there's like a feral child in there. Oh. And they're they're initially scared of me, but I'm so full and like bloated that I don't want to Yeah, you don't her. you don't need to eat and it's a small child, like they're not gonna Well, exactly. And so she's got this little um fire there or something and she's just like cowering. She doesn't she can't speak. Um she's literally like raised raised by, you know, raised on her own, raised by wolves, raised by sure. whatever in the wilds. Um and I sit there and um as the sun comes up, I sort of cower and hide in the shadows like this. And that sort of enamors her to me is like, Oh, you know, you're she's like, also you're, kind of scared. You're kind of scared as well. And so she, um, maybe in the daylight, she gives me like the corner or something to hide. Cause it's only a little cave or whatever. And maybe she, um, tries to give me some water or give me some berries or something, something that she knows she would. Want. Okay. Um, and maybe I don't eat them, but in my sort of hollow heart, I'm like, Oh, there's like, she doesn't know me. She has no reason to do this to me. She, she doesn't know what I've just done. Yeah. She still cares for, for me. Okay, she yeah. Still feels she's, something for me. Someone's actually, I guess, like, you've not had a friendly experience with anyone and this person doing it completely unsolicited. This, I didn't need to manipulate her to for her to do something for me. Uh, like, she did it out of the goodness of her heart. I absolutely love that. Um, do you want to call this feral child something? Maybe I'd just call her Runt. Runt. Runt the feral child. Okay, so now the problem is you're only allowed to have five groups of memories. Oh. And we and you can only have three memories in each one. Yeah. So unless so you are allowed to uh create a new resource, which is a diary, mm. where we could store memories. Otherwise, you're gonna have to begin forgetting things. Oh no. <laughs> and um if you think that your character will have been taking notes and keeping a journal, yeah. we can do that. But it's completely up to you. Or have they begun to forgot? I, I don't think I'm insightful enough or introspective enough to want to keep a diary. I think I'm quite hedonistic and in the moment and just like, I don't think a diary is really what I would be. Okay, right. So, so what do you want to forget? Do you want to forget uh, I am Will, son of Bernard? Uh, you became a squire to a great knight that you now live in Warwick Castle with a dungeon body factory <laughs> and you bathe in blood baths. Right. Uh, your father giving you your grandfather's bow, uh, giving you the family quilt, um, you murdering the last of the townsfolk and receiving a crown. Uh, do you want to forget about dancing with Daisy and the donkey around the maypole, uh, mauling the donkey in your rage, uh, Ellen the town survivor sees you and vows revenge, or winning the archery competition and Sir Richard making you his squire. Uh, murdering Sir Richard, then uh, while roaming, you meet Hieronymus and you turn his flock against him. Or while hunting uh, for a feast, uh, like being actually turned into a, a vampire by the death creature, uh, you hunt people and put them in the old barn um, and using your scars to scare people into doing your bidding. Which of these groups of memories are you going to lose? I, I think I should lose the... Um winning the archery competition and murdering Sir Richard. Because I think at this point, I've forgotten that I am was ever a squire and ever a peasant. Okay, I think I, I love... have always been this godly, heroic figure. I love it, yeah. yeah. It's just all gone to your head. Yeah. I like think of myself as a king. You're uh, now... Born, born for this. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely great, yeah. this So you can no longer recall this stuff. I don't remember Sir Richard at all? No. 
Okay. Uh, okay, great. Give me a, another roll. Okay, that is a seven. A long dead mortal character returns. What do they want from you? How did they survive death? You only recognize them if you still have a related memory. This is hundreds of years later. But, so, how did they survive death? You you come up with this. I think it has to be... Um... They recognize... You only recognize them. What do they want from you? I I think I've got a, a, a vibe. Pitch it. I don't want to... No, tell me. I'm, in, I'm interested. I almost think... I think just because you literally just forgot about them. Like the... Like the ghost of Sir Richard Longshanks appears mm. to try and like have like finish their unfinished business type thing, but ah. you have no memory of this person, and no. this just weird night is haunting you, saying like, "You killed me, yeah. you betrayed <laughs> me," and you're just like, "I don't know, you mean <laughs> just like, and you're maybe you think that you're just going a bit mad, yes, and yeah, that now yeah, this yeah. this like ghost night is." Yeah, I love that. Kind of just following you Absolutely. around and no one else can see them. Only you can now see like Yeah. It's like my Macbeth Banquo, like just that. constantly haunted by this. So every now and then, maybe, maybe it is a terrifying figure to me. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, ah, away. And, you know, every now and again, I'll go into this fit of like, stay back, away. Uh, yeah, this, you know. this guy with his throat ripped out. Just like, uh, just like falling. Stood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And maybe it's like, yeah, I don't remember him, but I've killed so many people that I'm like, oh, this is just one of Did the I many. Did I kill you? Yeah, like, and I, yeah, his, his throat is hanging out. He's my first victim. So yeah, that would make sense. He comes back. And also because um, you just like have forgotten about him. This is mm, why he's now appearing see, in front yes, of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, this I'm, I'm in the cave with this feral child and I, I sort of managed to sleep, but wake up screaming as this, as I'm visited by this ghost. Okay, I, I love, love this. And we have to check one of the skills. Check it or get rid of it. So kind of like, so you, they can come back, but okay. it basically is kind of like just getting rid of it. Yeah. I feel like, you know, the... I was going to say a shame because I think I have no shame left. I think I'm just... But also like, it's like seeing this thing, maybe you're cowering in front of the child and you feel ashamed that you're so terrified or like you're presenting yeah, yeah, yeah. yourself so vulnerable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the, maybe it's the first time I've felt fear in... Hundreds of years. Yeah, the this this just weird, I like that. just I like, like character. Yeah. Okay, roll me a new one. You're exposed as a monster and flee to a far off land. Lose any stationary resources. You do not know the language of the new place. How do you overcome the obstacle? Uh, what new name do you take? I was going to say I don't discover America. <laughs> if you want to. <laughs> If you want to discover America, but I'm just I'm, like I'm immortal, so I could just go in a boat and just. I guess you need to drink blood to survive. That's totally fine. I think there's not a lot there though for story wise, is there? Although it, there will be. Yeah, I think like if you're on like one of the first boats and you just go off into the wilderness and maybe you meet sort of uh, the Native Americans, like you're Enjoy living the in the woods and you having to deal with them i i yeah. love this as an idea yeah okay i'll do that do you think on the mayflower then <laughs> maybe maybe you're on the mayflower <laughs> yeah but i don't stay with that community because no I instantly you oh it's okay like we'll say ambiguous amounts of time have passed mm. but what if finally like an old Ellen has like grown up. Oh yeah, we need They've Ellen. Moved into a position of power. Yeah, and they finally managed to rally kind of whatever the the parliament or the the king, mm. and they're like, this person is evil. I can prove it. Yeah. Um. Look, we've got this feral child who. Yes. They can testify. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, they're now sending like hunting parties after yeah. you, and you've yeah. had to flee. And mm. the first choice was. You get on a boat, you go to the Great. new continent, they'll Absolutely. never be able to catch you. Yeah, I need to get as far away as possible. This is, yeah. And I think I'd change my name to something kind of biblical and soft, like maybe Joshua or. Um... Uh, although, is there like a good. Because you're like fleeing all um, all the like settlers and stuff, and you're going off into the wilderness oh. that I think you could take on, like, you know, you you now take on a new name. They call you. Wendigo. Oh, some, and the like, fucking Wendigo. Some, like amazing. you, that yeah, you like, yeah, yeah, yeah. that you're now called like yeah. the whatever, the, the 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 pale death or yeah, something. Yeah, 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 that yeah, now yeah, yeah. you're just living this legend. Yeah, pale death. The pale death is your new 
new name. Okay, I'm down. Yeah. Give me a give me a roll. Zero. Okay. Uh, you disguise yourself with an entirely new persona. Take an old memory and modify it. Make it contemporary and bland. Bland? Uh, choose a skill based on blending in. Okay, so an old memory. I guess, like, time could have passed. Like, so you could always take your uh, hunting people and taking them to the old barn to eat. Like, using your, you know, because you're a great hunter mm. and stuff. And at this time, like, you know, f food and famine and stuff, like, people are struggling to get together. That Maybe you as an amazing hunter, you set up, like, a butchery type thing. But it's not people, it's animals. And you... Now become like a trader okay, type thing, yeah, right? Where you, like a, you just provide food and everyone's just like, this guy's amazing. And like, maybe maybe I would start like, if I was cold or whatever, I would um, take furs. I would kill animals for furs and then have the meat. And, you know, maybe, yeah, I I could, yeah, be a fur trapper or a, or a yeah, trader or something. That works. Like kind of trade, just create a skill on blending in like a trader. Like, because I guess that way you can be moving between different settlements. You can trade with... Uh, the the natives you can trade with uh, yeah. the the settlers and now I'm started wearing like a bear skin mm. or like you know animal furs drip tails dripping off me and stuff. yeah yeah I think this for warm makes... fan but also intimidation and stuff and you need a new persona um, so I think come up with a new name and a skill for I, th stuff. I think yeah like still hunter trapper kind of guy wearing furs and I'm like um. Mountain Bill. <laughs> Mountain you know, like, Bill. Yeah, because like you that. were William of Birmingham. Yeah. And I think Mountain <laughs> Bill. Mountain Bill. I love that. Okay. Uh, right. Unfortunately, your memory is getting pretty full. Oh, God. Something else needs to be forgotten. Yeah, I think forget the first one. I think um, forget where I'm actually from. Oh, so sad. <laughs> I've lost it. I've lost all that um, history. Uh, cool. Uh, if you want to roll again mm -hmm. and see what happens. Seven. Seven. Ooh. Okay. Move Going forward. To 36. The deceptions you practice fool even yourself. Wow. Combine any three traits to fabricate an experience that you believe to be true. So this is you kind of going mad, becoming where you now believe that you are Bill the Trapper mm. or Bill the Mountain Man. It could just be the old archery skills, your bow, and the being a trapper or a trader. That maybe you even, maybe you can even begin to set up like a, like a franchise or something. You start okay. uh, getting way more into it because you're actually really good and you're really helping mm. these towns. Uh, the natives love it. Uh, like they appreciate because you don't really care for material mm. possessions. So you turn up and you trade furs and meat and you're doing that to the settlers sure. to everyone yeah and you just create a memory that oh actually you grew up around here and oh is that okay okay so you've tricked yourself with this new the deception that you're pulling ah right okay how does that work that i always remember it even though i have all these other memories because your character's now kind of going mad you, oh okay that you I guess you've been telling this story to everyone about where you're from. And it's just and that solidified you, in my head. But now you believe it. But you've got memories of, like, your father and farming and living in a castle and... A ghost. <laughs> uh, a ghost. And you still have this crown that you're obsessed with. Yeah, hang, because, I like the crowns hanging off my belt or something. You know? Because your character is beginning to go a little yeah, bit crazy. I see, I see, I see. And uh, is not a super chill, not a super chill no dude. Bill. Just start to take on an accent. Uh, yeah, you've got an accent <laughs> now. I'm in. Uh, so roll me some dice. Oh, minus two. Minus two. God, we're going back. Okay. You destroy something important to you in a purposeless rage. Uh, lose oh. a precious memory or destroy a resource. The quilt. You just destroy your quilt. Quilt. Wow. <laughs> just like get into a tantrum. Uh, yeah. How about I'm like hunting a great bear and I like, I, I almost get the shot, but the quilt 
tangles in the bow and I miss oh. and the bear gets away and I'm like, ah, and I tear it to shreds you... in a rage, throw it off a cliff. Oh my God, that's so, so sad. You, Your father gave that to you. That was handed down through generations. I mean, it was and pretty. It's pretty, pretty minging. <laughs> like he was covered in old dry blood. Probably pretty threadbare at the stage, but <laughs> yeah, maybe it was like the last few patches, and it was like a picture of my Birmingham farm. You know, it was yeah, like, just, it was just like a shred. One of the I have like tails of animals all over me, and then one shred was like the little bit of patchwork quilt that was left. Oh, and that kind of like caught on caught the, string the string and it threw the arrow exactly, off. Exactly. Yeah, and I had, uh, had enough. Ripped it up, and it was the last thing that your mother had made, yeah, given exactly. to you by your dad. Oh, heartbreaking. Gone. Heartbreaking. Uh, okay, cool. Roll me, roll me some dice. Three. Things fall to dust. Oh no! Lose a resource for which you have no corresponding memory. Do not create a new experience for this prompt. It simply happens as you stare in silence. I mean, the handkerchief. Oh, the handkerchief! Yeah, just, I don't remember the night at all. Slowly, you've had this on you for yeah. hundreds of years, and it's just. It was some. It was like for some reason, without me knowing, touching it and stroking it was a comfort to me. Yeah, something you always you always held on yeah, to it, yeah. but just through rubbing it and it's, it's just, just slowly just disintegrated because you don't remember I mean, where been, you got it from. Or, no, it's like a six hundred year old thing now. Like this old just turns to nothing. Oh yeah. my god, it's sad. sad, heartbreaking time is moving by. Is that the last memory or connection to Sir Richard that I would have? Outside of seeing the ghost, but you don't know who this ghost is. Yeah. That is the last contact that you have to Sir Richard. So I might loved. see the ghost still, but I don't know who he is. Yeah, potentially. Okay. Uh, well, that we don't even have to add an entry in. Uh, you can roll, roll me some dice. Um, five. Five. Woo. Uh, what piece of contemporary technology can you not interact with due to your vampiric nature? How did you first encounter uh, with this technology almost get you destroyed? Are we thinking like maybe Wild West, sort of West American West era? Yeah, you, you tell me. I'm trying to think of technologies that were around then, like telegraph. And I can just come up with a reason why a technology doesn't work for me. Uh, how your first encounter with this technology almost gets you destroyed. So if you want like Old West, like it could be... Guns? Like either guns or like dynamite or... Uh, railway is gunpowder somehow like a problem for me? Um, oh, okay, yeah. Like, um, yeah, maybe just gunpowder. Like yeah. for some reason, the combination of like fries, sizzles, and burns. like it burns, and you don't regenerate from it that or something like heal, that. Yeah. Yeah, maybe it's a similar wound to the one down my chest. It sort of interacts in a similar way. It creates like a if like I was thinking of a, a sort of black and necrotic thing, like. If gunpowder creates a similar thing, not, not you know, okay, yeah, like it, any injury inflicted by yeah. like a gunpowder burn. Yeah, maybe something happened where it just scarred my hand. It burned pain. I hadn't felt pain like that in forever. Okay, and, uh, yeah, I'm like got these scars down my hand now from using a gun, using a revolver or something. Okay, that sounds perfect. Uh, oh no, we've got to forget some more stuff. I, th I think the quilt and the bow and all that stuff is something that I'm forgetting. You know, it's like I'm 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 Bill. I have a bow for hunting. I'm a hunter. I I don't remember my grandfather or anything like that. Okay, sad, sad very times. sad. Um, and check a skill. Maybe it could be the great at cleaning skill. Oh, yeah. Maybe you were like cleaning a gun or something oh, like that. Oh yeah, yeah. And yeah. somehow just like the gunpowder getting on your skin mm. burns, and uh, you realise that this is something that can destroy you. Yes, in yes. that moment, I'm terrified of it. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Uh, roll me uh, dice. Zero. Ooh. Okay. You make an acquaintance with a group of mortals who share an interest in some resource you possess. Is it a club? Are these friends? Create three mortal characters. Develop a skill related to the resource in question. Like my trapper buddies. Oh, can like, you start the like the the Robins uh, archery club in the old west? <laughs> <laughs> I put on an archery tournament in the mountains in like the Rocky Mountains. Oh, uh, I think like yeah, like doing um uh yeah, like a, a like a great hunters competition or mm. something like that with your bow and arrow. Oh. 
just like a hunter's convention. Like it's a lonely profession. I'm like, let's gather the guys together and we share some knowledge and some skills. And okay, and we, I think like we, three we, part of it is a is a competition for best archer. Uh, oh, also, I'm going to say that the Runt and Ellen are probably dead now from old yes, age. Uh, yes. It's been a while since we spoke to them. Uh-huh. I feel like we're getting into like what the gold rush era, the sort of like yeah. you know everyone's moving people west, traveling around. Like there's, there's more people about. There's maybe a town nearby, and yeah, there's like a newspaper or something, and they've there's a, I guess like maybe you're just interacting with people, and they're you've started archery, archery <laughs> club, archery. <laughs> you just hanging out with these people, and you yeah have these yeah 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 yeah. Well, what was this sort of like? Um, stunt shows or something that they did like um, oh. with firing guns it's like i'm like a trick archer i love this yeah. okay yeah do you guys want to make a little traveling yeah 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 like i realize i can make more money by doing these trick shots of like because i'm an amazing archer okay and i would band up with a few other trick shot people like um you're doing like a buffalo bill yeah, 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 yeah like yeah. greatest american show or yeah, whatever exactly, it was called yeah and I'm fully like my accent is like I'm American now. Like I speak like this. I grew up in the mountains. I'm out <laughs> yeah. of Bill. I'm Mountain Bill. Okay, I love this. Who are these people? I think we have a a woman who yeah. um, maybe she uses guns, and I'm scared. You know, what like about? she rides a horse and does trick shots with a gun. Um, I like, was going to say maybe she uses a lasso. We call her Lisa Lasso. Okay, done. Done. <laughs> There's Lisa Lassie. Well, maybe that's it. I put a ban on guns then. That's like, I don't do guns. Oh, yeah, yeah. True. Because you hate gunpowder. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what? what's another trick thing you can do? Like, um... Tony Tomahawk. Ooh, yeah. Like, uh, what? Like a Native American guy who throws tomahawks. Yeah. Yeah. So we band together us three. Oh, three more people. Uh, yeah. And we need one um, more. Something that isn't. What about like a, like a knife thrower? Yeah. Uh, isn't that kind of tomahawky though? Like that you know, oh, throwing maybe. axes. Like is there is there something like um what what's another? Oh, like show? A, what about like a like a prize fighter guy? He'll go. He oh, he's yeah, like yeah, anyone yeah, yeah. from the crowd come like up a, and fight. A big big burly guy. Yeah. Um, In like the traditional like um like a pugilist yes, like yeah, uh, like a, and he can be pugilist. Beat. Beat. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Okay, yeah. these guys are now part of your. Am I not drinking blood anymore? I imagine you are still drinking blood, but it's like you found a way to handle it right. and it's just not caused any right. problems. I always have a hip flask of blood with me that I fill and just I'm swigging on a hip flask all the time. Yeah. Or maybe, a water, or a water power, you know, it's water skin or something. Yeah. And just like, because you've been moving around so much, it's a way no one's ever been able to catch you. Yes, right. Um, right. And with like the massive expansions out into the wilderness. And I guess because you've been... For a long time, you were killing people with a bow and arrow. Mm. Maybe you knew that you could hide it as, uh, oh, like Native Americans killed them. Oh, those bad savages. Yes. Though, yeah, shame on them. Yeah, but yeah. actually, you're this horrible monster. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's nothing to do with them at all. That's good. Uh, right. Start a stage show. Uh, no gun powder allowed. Yeah. Okay, I love these guys. <laughs> Uh, Mountain Bills All American Gunpowder Free gun powder Show Free Trickery Show. Uh great, roll me roll me some dice. Stunt show. Minus one. Minus one. Oh no, sorry, sorry. Uh, no, no, no. Three. Three. Very good. Uh your body is undergoing further corruption and <sighs> change. Uh when do you first notice these new changes? Create a mark. I think I'm I'm performing my archery show. I'm like I'm like doing a trick shot and something something f twinges, something feels bad, but I complete the show because the show must go on. And then while um, Lisa Lasso goes up, I go backstage and I can hear the crowds. And I like, um, I, 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 I look at my, uh, I look under my clothes and um, maybe, and then, what is it? So, some, just a corruption. Something's happening. Yeah, your body's becoming more corrupted, and there's now like a new, like visual mark on that is representing corruption. Well, I, I was thinking the wound in my chest is is growing, and it's mm. like you know, it, it starts. It's almost like it's becoming fresh again. Like whether it's from like me stretching or or just just something with time. Like it, it's sort of like maybe there was a nice long period where it was still there, but it had sort of stopped any progression, and now it's progressing again, mm. it's widening and. And sort of festering more. What if just all your internal organs fell out? 
Oh my God, yeah. Just as like you were firing your bow and as you oh. like stretch, suddenly like there's a crack and like more, it's now spreading wider and just you feel all of your organs just flop like inside of your shirt. Oh my God. Well, that's okay. So I, I do the, I do my shot and then a line of of just like wetness and stuff appears down my down my shirt. Like say I go backstage and then yeah, take off my thing and everything just pours out onto the Just floor. like the l- lungs, stomach, yeah. just, oh my just God. rip away yeah, from you because yeah, you yeah. don't need them anymore. Yeah. Uh, okay. Holy shit, I'm hollow. Great. Amazing. Okay. Oh, zero. Zero. Uh, your body is becoming more effective as it becomes less human. Uh, create a skill based on one of your marks. Hollow. Hollow. I'm lighter. <laughs> I'm faster. lighter. What if it is like, um, you know, I'm I'm now like I can crawl up walls or like I'm like this like light s- skeletal. Okay. Yeah. Like uh, just like. You Easier know. for me to move and, and climb up things. And What about like uh, sort of like, you know, wall. Walking. I'm kind of thinking almost like contortioning that you can like. Oh yeah, I can like crush like your tube. body yeah, and like no, that's move nice. through things now that you don't have like as much meat yes, or organs. You can yeah, kind of yeah, yeah. crunch your way through like a tiny window or something. I love that. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, based on just missing all of your organs. Yes. Sounds I'm just great. Skin bag. Uh, we've got to lose some more memories, my dude. Okay. Um, I. I kind of feels like um i feel like i remember the scar because and, and the hunting the people i think it's the um dancing with daisy and the donkey and more in the donkey oh um and the town of survivors poor donkey has oh, been forgotten donkey. there is just a mortal donkey hanging somewhere, out somewhere. Yeah, yeah yeah <laughs> just in some <laughs> woods carrots, having a good time okay yeah so now because your body body uh, has been changing you can now do mm. inhuman things with it great uh, roll, me, roll me a dice. Three. Three. You awaken covered in dust. Generations have passed. Your sleeping place has been sealed off. How do you escape? Lose a resource. Strike out all mortal characters. Oh, Whoa. poor Lisa Lasso and Tony Tomahawk and Pugilist the Pete. They all died. Was I in like a, uh, like a gold mine? <laughs> That's where I sleep. I was kind of thinking like, what if you are whatever you're like sleep asleep in somewhere in a town or something, mm. a, a basement or whatever gets sealed off, and like generations have passed, and now you wake up in, you come to in some super underground area of like 1920s Brooklyn or oh something, or like yeah, you're yeah, now yeah. like a city has been built around oh you. Oh my god, yeah. And you stagger out of this. Uh, what if it's like? Um- They've converted an area into like, I was in the wall of like a basement or something like a hidden away wall. And now this is an underground speakeasy in. Yeah. Like the prohibition. Prohibition. Yeah. 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 Um, So yeah, I wake up and I hear like honky tonk music and drinking and clinking of glasses. And how do you escape? Oh, I guess you with your amazing contortion powers. <laughs> There's a tiny hole of like the, light. <laughs> you're like b- bricked in to this just yeah, abandoned yeah, yeah, thing, yeah. and you just are able to worm your way out through like ventilation ducts and things yeah, like that. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah, through the walls. Uh, where are we set? Uh, well, we're doing like west of America. Um, oh, what about um, Hollywood? Uh, yeah, you can be in Hollywood. Like silent movie Hollywood. I love it. Yeah. Absolutely perfect. We made it all the way to the to the western coast where we were doing our shows. Uh, you have to lose a resource, your crown or your th- bow and I arrow. I think I'd probably lose a bow and arrow at this point. Okay. Yeah, because you you still sleep wearing that crown. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You don't yeah, show yeah. it to many people, yeah, but no, no, no. I guess the bow and arrow is just like... God, just like a beam or something, yeah. or like some bricks, like has just fallen and just crushed it. Absolutely. And I've probably just, do, do I even remember it? I don't remember being given it by my father. No. So. Oh, God, um, you remember doing the show with it, but yeah. it just the bow has just no meaning it's to no you. No sentimental value at all. It was just a thing oh, that I used. So sad. Oh. Rolling? Yeah, roll me a. Uh, six. Six. Uh, a mortal character you trusted or one of their descendants leads a hunting party 
Uh, what shared secrets are being used against you? Check a skill. So all of your mortal characters did just die. But the descendants of, like, the- Ellen. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ellen's family are now... Vampire hunters. Vampire hunters. <laughs> and have, after hundreds of years, tracked you down yes, yes. across the sea. Yeah. Like for 400 oh, years, they've been looking for you. I appeared in a silent movie. <gasps> <laughs> and they saw it. <laughs> yes. Uh, okay. I love it. So their, their descendant, yeah. maybe, yeah, they saw this film. I so, like, well, I guess there's some, maybe she made a, an etch, a sketch or something, or she made a lo- maybe in her later life as she went mad, she was constantly drawing pictures and pictures of my face, drawings over and over and over again, drawings, 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 because this would have been uh, way before photography, right? This was when, when mm. she was around. It was 16, 1500s. Yeah. So, it would, but but you know, it was so seared into her brain that she was able to make all these accurate drawings, and so that was passed down. And and it's the idea of this family of you know they believe that vampires exist because. Ellen this like legend was so, was so exactly yeah 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 um and yeah they they see me in a movie and they they track me down i love it uh a uh, secret i guess because maybe we could even move forwards a little bit more in time yeah. but maybe you've become like you're in a lot of movies and it isn't just the silent movie maybe they're like wait this guy with that face was in this film Ten years later, he's in another yeah. film. Ten years later, he's in another film. Yeah, and like, oh, actually, he's he's an immortal. Is it is it that <gasps> is it that I play monsters and they think it's makeup or something? So like, that's my excuse. Is like it's oh, unlike the Dracula or the oh doing like movies. a silent movie. And you're you play a vampire. It's so like, it's, on the nose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're like, oh, it's um, it, people watch it and they think it must be special effects or yeah. something. But it is me. Okay, I it's love like it. A, it's like a, a secret in Hollywood. <laughs> I'm real. I, get, I think there would be, you know, like someone who's just like, oh, you know, he's like a carnival freak or oh, something. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, exactly, yeah. Freak show kind of, yeah, And exactly, they yeah. cast you in a film as a monster and like the exact wound yeah. is recognised and your face. Yeah. And I love it. Okay, what is Ellen's descendant called? Does you want to call this one Ripley? I was... <laughs> You can, uh, you can be called whatever you want. No, I was going to call him Sigourney Weaver, but I don't think it should be Sigourney Weaver. We could just say, uh, do you just want yeah. Sigourney? No, no. I think it's someone Ripley, though. It's, um, yeah, just um, Susan Ripley. Susan uh, Ripley. Okay. But I'm imagining, like, um, you know, Dan Aykroyd's family are a family of, like, um, occult ghosts. People. Yeah. It's that kind of thing where it's like, we grew up with the vampire hunter stories and passed on the tools and the thing you know they like train because because this person knows vampires exist ellen did and so she prepared like maybe her whole life was preparing for oh vampires exist i need to have a stake i need to you know look at all the literature things. like yeah like you need to know how to defeat these things I'm, I'm in uh that is great uh we check a skill off oh instill fear could be a fun one if you're doing these ah, like horror movies yeah. that you're like and people are like, oh my god, it's the scariest thing yeah, ever because yeah, yeah. it's some of your weird latent mm. magic. Yeah, does that work to you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or the contortion. Well, I think the fear thing is good because it's like I was once someone who instilled fear into hundreds of peasants under my control, and now I'm using it to make a quick buck. In the- yeah, like, yeah, to make that some same money. Skill. Great. Uh, yeah. Roll me, roll me. Like, I love that you've become this like movie star. <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking like Bella Lugosi. Or yeah, that, exactly. Kind of two. Uh, oh no, sorry. Uh, minus two. Uh, no, so that's a ten. So oh, zero is ten. Oh, sorry, eight. Uh, oh my god! Wow, this is we're zipping along. Really moving along. How do you provide for your banal material needs? Record an experience uh, about the time this went wrong. I guess like your, your movie stardom. That's it. I was thinking movie stardom and I was trying to think when it went wrong, like I'm in the dressing room and I'm doing something and someone bursts in. Uh, or, um, okay. Yeah. Am I either eating someone or the, the idea that I actually don't have any organs is revealed and they're like horrified by it. Like, um, yeah, that you need to kind of cover this up and like, oh no, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. fine. Or you just get, kill that person. But then again, it's like, I am going on stage with, with it. Like I am showing it via the movie thing and I'm kind of like I'm just a kind of 
I'm just a freak show kind of guy. Like I just have this thing. Um, so maybe it's not that. Maybe it would have to be. What if like you, whatever, the your, your, your assistant or something, mm. or there's like, you know, like a runner and you kill them. Mm. But now you're kind of like a big, big movie star and like whatever, like the studio covers it up. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like someone drive. like I have a driver who drives me home and when he drives me home, I, I kill them. And then there's like this corpse in the middle of my Hollywood mansion and I have to phone up like Eddie Mannix. Yeah, <laughs> Eddie, yeah. Like, like the the fixer yeah, for the studio. The and comes and comes they're, they're like, that's not cool. Yeah, but yeah. The big, the new big picture, uh, you know, the, the Grave Slasher yeah, yeah, 3 yeah. is yeah. coming out and yeah. they can't risk that being a flop because yeah. they've invested like 20 million into this one. Oh my God, yeah. Okay. I might, maybe it's like, yeah, you sort of a legendary status at this point. Yeah, you're actually Hollywood. like a big, big star. So they'll cover up like the the deaths or the murders or the he's like surprising amount of accidents that this guy has. But like, he's but the but the, <laughs> the the camera loves him. But he puts butts in seats. Okay, so you accidentally killed your assistant driver, and it's covered up by the studio. Oh, we do need to forget some more memories, my dude. The ghost and yeah, fleeing from America. I forget who Ellen is, and you know. I, I don't, I, I wouldn't have any memory that the... Uh, makes, well, yeah. Did yeah, you? I think that makes a lot of sense. Uh, cool, roll me again. Uh, six. Six, oh my God. We're getting towards the end. Dude, we are really close to the end. Wow, we have been like rocketing through this. Damn. You bond with an ancient enemy character over your shared past, <laughs> finding in it something more comprehensible than this modern world. Uh, check a skill, you become friends share a resource, and gain a resource that is shared with you. Can't be the donkey. The donkey? <laughs> <laughs> it could be the donkey. How does the donkey end up in Hollywood? Ancient enemy character. It's, the only enemy I've ever had is... The healer, and technically, like, the ghost is an enemy, I ghost. think. Do I lose it and I start hanging out with the ghost? Maybe you become friends... I, I I think becoming friends with the ghost is kind of rare. Cool. Like just you've gone completely, yeah, batshit crazy. Mm. I'm like living in a Hollywood mansion on my own, and I hang out with the ghost. <laughs> and there's the ghost. Uh, yeah, what does the ghost share with you? What old times? <laughs> I mean, I've forgotten all the old times, so it's like, is it sharing memories or sharing? I don't know. Well, it's a resource that it shares. Uh, a, a physical thing. Um, like so, we could be a bit like Lucia Goosia with it. That it could be sharing memories if you want to, or what if he, um, what if he shares the ability to see ghosts? Ooh, I can see dead people. <laughs> you can see dead people. Maybe, <laughs> maybe there's just something. Maybe it's just your friends, and also because you can't actually kill them again. Oh I, I, yeah, he's the only person who I don't. Yeah, I don't have the temptation to drink the blood of. But like maybe there are times where you, whatever you slash at it or yeah, you would yeah, yeah. kill it because you have these fits of rage. Right, yeah, but yeah. because you can't kill the ghost, suddenly you become a weird odd couple. Yes. But the ghost is just like <laughs> hanging out in your yeah. like 50s Hollywood mansion. <laughs> and you guys. Oh my God, that's great. Love that. He's like the only company that I have, the only person I really trust to keep these secrets because he's a ghost. Yeah, that you talk to this. Wacky goes, so we just say you've got Hollywood Mansion. I feel like yeah. that, that makes. Okay, wow. Love him. Uh, cool. Romeo, Romeo Dice. Two. Two. An immortal character has been destroyed by mortals. Uh, how did you found out, find out about this? What did you lose? Create a skill based on a memory. Create an immortal character if necessary. Does Hieronymus die and the wound disappear from my face? What if like the bird is killed? And my wound and like my heat, my organs come back. <laughs> but you like you get your soul back or something. Oh my god! But then I'm not immortal. But I, like uh, my like the guilt comes back or something. Like human feelings return. Yeah, like that kind of. And I could just lose it. I think that I kind of like that idea that whatever. Like maybe um, it's. Like Eleanor's tracked it down. Okay, yeah, it makes sense that Ellen like 
or Ellen's uh, ancestors, maybe somehow they figured out Susan how the curse Ripley. happens. Susan Ripley tracked down uh, the farm where I was and, yeah, the the haunted wood where Fletch was and she um, fires a silver bullet into its face or something. Oh, they... So, like, maybe, like, what's been going on with the 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 Ripleys mm. is maybe they, like, kind of stopped believing as much in the, mm. like, the, the stuff. Or people had tried and they kept going missing, they were dying, and... So they're seeing you on the screen and they're like, oh my God, this is true. And Susan Ripley kind of gets involved. And where they'd gone and like try to kill Bletch before, but it was impossible. But now that they've got like explosives and modern stuff, actually they could kill it because it just turned out bows and arrows and swords yeah, weren't good enough. right, okay. But they turn up and blow this thing yeah. up. <laughs> and suddenly now this like magic link that you have with it, yeah. uh, your soul returns to you. And you begin to feel again. And all the guilt of all the death and the blood and everything that I've done, that I remember at least, hits me. Okay. Uh, I, yeah, I love, I love this. I think that works. The skill of unfathomable guilt. Yeah, I think I love, okay, Bletch, Bletch dead. Um, and then you have the new skill. Guilt. Guilt. <laughs> okay, roll me a dice. Minus one. Minus one. Uh, mortals and cruel and work in ways outside of your understanding. How are you mocked or victimized? Uh, why was your response ineffectual and costly? Oh. oh no, I think your movie career is failing. Yeah, well, well, now that I feel so much guilt and stuff, <gasps> and I'm just like, oh, you can't do it. I you can't, can't. You can't like scare <laughs> like, people I can't anymore. Lost the ability to scare. Oh no, <laughs> God! Like they've they've just like released like the Saw movies or something, and yeah. this like old like Hammer horror that you were doing. It's so cheesy and oh, campy, and it just doesn't work. No, anymore. and God, you try to like make a new film, and it's a bomb and oh, you're God. you're doing just the tragic signings at sell cons. The and i live in a little shit bungalow and oh, I, shit. it's like the guy it isn't like bella ghost in like ed wood you yeah. know where you like you know it's like that washed up monster movie star oh my god i love it oh, oh this is more heartbreaking <laughs> oh, than all the murders no. <laughs> oh that's so good yeah. yeah that now it's kind of like the 90s 2000s I and don't mean anything anymore and and you're a bit of a laughing stock and you try and make these movies yeah. and they have no budget and they're just shit. That's it. That's Heartbreak. It. Uh, cool. Roll me, a, roll me a dice. Two. Oh, oh no. <laughs> you're caught outside and destroyed. What happened? The game is over. So, so I'm this tragic figure. I've lost it all and I'm wandering the streets of Hollywood and like weakly lunging at people trying to trying to attack them but I just don't have the energy like there's something in me that says drink blood you don't know what it is I'm just like staggering through the streets someone calls the police on me and I'm like in the, in the streets of Hollywood surrounded by police because I'm like been attacking people or trying to attack people and they've all got their guns pointed at me and they're like freeze and I look at them and I go, I go to like try. I, 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 I don't know. And then, and then, like, the sun rises and I disintegrate into ash in front of them. I think, like, what if you do lunge at the cops and they just put, like, they shoot you? Oh yeah, yeah. And yeah, you're yeah, yeah. just lying there. Maybe like paramedics come over and they're mm. trying to like save you. Mm. And you look up just as like the sun is kind of coming over the buildings. Yeah. And. I think also just like stood right next to you staring down is the ghost of Sir Richard just like shaking his head <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> as you look up and you're just like, I, I don't understand. Yeah. And like, I guess like maybe because if the sun doesn't cause you just to disintegrate, but mm. maybe it just stops you regenerating mm. and you just die. Oh, and then I die. Looking like yeah. a, just like a crazy, like just drug addict mm. that is this washed up Hollywood star yeah, yeah, yeah. and you're just, Oh my god, this yeah. horror is such a <laughs> miserable ending, but I kind of kind of there for it. Yeah. Holy shit. 
Uh, wow. Well, congratulations. You completed yeah. uh, the adventure of A Thousand Year Old Vampire. What the heck? Thanks, Tom. That was a lot of fun. Thank you so much for joining us uh, as we played A Thousand Year Old Vampire. Uh, thank you to you, Tom. Uh, do you want to give yourself a plug? What are you working on at the moment? Yeah. Where can people find more of you? Uh, head to uh, youtube.com slash Tom Bates. And uh, everywhere else is Tom P. Bates. Instagram, TikTok. I'm doing animations. Nigel Marmalade and um, stuff like that. So yeah, check it out. Amazing stuff. Until next time, everybody. Goodbye. See ya. And that concludes our game of A Thousand Year Old Vampire. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing something a little different, uh, a little bit wacky. I really just wanted to show off some different role-playing games that I really enjoy. And I hope you guys hope you guys got into it. Um, if you did enjoy this and you want to see what me and Tom Bates thought about it, uh, you can right now by becoming a member. We've uploaded the video where we talk about how the game went, uh, look through some of the other entries of what could have happened, and just kind of go through uh, our feelings on how a solo RPG kind of worked and compared to other games that we've played. Until next time, everybody, goodbye. <laughs>